Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today on Keith's Customs, uh, we got a special delivery. Uh, we got the easy brackets for mounting the bags, my biking bags, on the bike. So, as you remember, um, I did the relocation kit for the turn signals that is going to allow us to mount the bags right here. Uh, I just, this is the um, bushing for the, for the uh, backrest because I got the easy uh, detachable backrest so I can take it off if I want. You know, I don't know why I would. Sometimes you just want to have that more sporty look without the backrest so you take it off. But uh, yeah, we're going to be doing that today. Uh, we're going to get these fitted up. I think I'm going to need some new bolts uh, because I have the the headrest quick detach brackets on here, but I'm also gonna have the uh, easy bracket for the bags is gonna be on here too. So I'm gonna need some new bolts because this is gonna come out longer. And the bolts that are supplied with the kit aren't gonna be long enough. So that's what's on the agenda for today. Let's see what's in the box over here. So, this is what you get from uh, Easy Brackets. And you get some hardware. This is your hardware for, excuse the sun. Let's, let's go over here. here. Uh, let's take this over here. Okay. All right. This is what you get in the, in the kit. You get some bracket to bag hardware. Then these are the, the spacers and the hardware uh, that your bag, the, the bushings or the brackets that your bag slides into. So you get that and your keys, keys for the brackets. Oh, look at that. Okay. So you get one for each side. It's got a key lock on the top and uh, they mount to your bags and then you're able to put them on and take them off. So you don't have to use a wrench to, uh, to take off your bags all the time. You just unlock the key, slide it off and take your bags off. So those should be really nice. So that's what's in the kit. Uh, so why don't you say we uh, start prepping the bike and, and get these on the uh, get these on the bike? All right. Okay. So what I got here, I've got our trim bracket. Now when I put in the new when I put in the turn signal bracket, it came with those new runners that go on the inside of the fender. Uh, that moves the, uh, your, you have a threaded part of it right here, and then the other part threads in up here. And that's where we'd where we, we'd be putting our uh, brackets, for our easy bracket, for, our, all, for the, uh, the quick disconnect for the backrest, but also for the bags, for a quick disconnect for our bags. So what we'll do is we'll take this bolt out right here, and we'll see, we'll see how this lines up. Yes, 45T. Let's take this off here. Our factory bolt. Let's set that to the side. So, with the backrest kit, you get these nice chrome uh, filler plates. Ooh. 
chrome. So that'll go right here. So you mount your new hardware right there and this, this nice chrome um, spacer piece fills up that other other part of that that's kind of ugly right there. So that's nice. So we've got that. Okay, so we've got our new bag of hardware here that came with the easy brackets. So we're gonna see how this, I, I know these bolts aren't gonna line up. So we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to buy some new bolts. Cause they don't, they might, they might work. We'll have to see, we'll just have to see. So these came with the backrest kit. So these are gonna go up front and then this bigger one goes toward the back and that's what the, what locks into the uh, system. Okay, so we're gonna need, these are the bolts that came with the kit, with the easy bracket kit. So basically what this would look like, it would go on there. And then that goes into your fender. But I gotta double up the brackets. So we will have one of these and this bracket on this bolt. That goes on first. So we've got, we'll have this, which is the easy bracket spacer. And we'll also have this on there for the uh, backrest quick release. So let's see how this works here. Before I lock tight anything out, you know, just see how it works, see how it fits, get everything kind of mocked up here. Might not need, might not need a new bolt. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. This side, this will be This bracket first, no, this bracket. Be this bracket first for the easy, easy, easy mount brackets or easy bracket. And then it'll be this one, like it at. And we'll put it in this hole. Let's see how this works here. Do a trial fitment before we lock tight anything down. All right. So we'll duplicate that on the other side. I had already tried one of these. I already tried one of these on this side, so I gotta take it off again. I just wanted to, you know, see. See how it looked. And it doesn't look like these new ones are Torx. Uh, they're just Allen head. So make sure you got the proper wrench. Uh, the old, the old uh, stock bolts are Torx head and the new ones are just a regular Allen head. Ooh, we, wanna, we don't wanna forget our chrome spacer plate in there. I forgot to put that on. Okay, so that and that, like a that. And then we put our chrome spacer plate on there too. So let's see how that looks. Ooh. 
Okay. It's really warm in Wisconsin today, boys. 47 degrees. So it's warming up. It's melting the snow. And uh, it makes you think about taking a bike out or car or the boat. Kind of gives you the fever. Okay. All right. Let's see how that looks. All right, so what I got here, I'll show you what I got going on. Let me put that spacer plate in there. That looks really nice. And then you got your backrest bracket where the, the quick release um, backrest clips in. And then you got your easy mount bracket the clip, uh, section that's right here. So that should be kind of what it looks like. All right. Let's take this other side off again. And remember to put our chrome space in there. Because I forgot to do that. Just like that. Oh, we gotta take this other bolt out. Can't forget that one. Take this one out. We'll see how this fits. So this fits. Let me get this mocked up here. There's a backrest. All assembled. And this should this should fit right in here. Just like that. Oh, that's nice. That really looks nice. Okay. To brighten that up a little bit later. For now, we're just kind of getting the fit of it. That looks pretty good. It's nice seeing the bike come together and get a bunch of parts and stuff. And um, it's when you get everything finalized to where it starts to come together, what you had in sight for it, it's makes it all worthwhile. So it's going to be functional. It's going to be a nice backrest for my girlfriend. I'll be able to carry my lunch pail or whatever I want on the back here on the backrest. Or, uh, excuse me, on the luggage rack this this would be the backrest here luggage rack backrest okay that looks pretty good now we just gotta see if the uh easy brackets are gonna go on there without too much modification got our keys here let's see if these how easy it is unlock oh yeah Nice. Okay, should I come out like that? This is the left side. Let's get the right side. This is the side we're working on. Here's the left side. Or right side, rather. Right side. Go. So this side 
mounts toward the bag. And this is the bike side here. Let's see what we got. Oh, guys. Oh. Look at that. Hmm? And you put your key back in there. You lock it. And she's on there. That's pretty sweet. And walk away and forget about it. When it comes time to clean it, you just unlock the key. Take the bag off without having to use any tools. That's super sweet. Okay, let's get a bag and see, see how it looks. I'm gonna put this one on this side. like that. There we go. Let's get a bag. So exciting guys. Woo! All right. There's a Viking bag. Nice hard shell. Leather covered. Bags them out right on there like that. Your bracket goes on there, and then your bag goes on, mounts on with the uh, hardware using these holes. As I'm gonna have to drill a hole uh, right here and probably right here and mount the bags according to those holes. So I'll drill the holes in the bracket and then match it up and drill the holes accordingly on the, on the bag itself and then mount the bracket that way. Right now, um, I'm just taking the hardware off and I'm gonna be putting Loctite on the bolts so we can finalize, finalize that. So that's what we're doing right now. Okay. So, get my Loctite. Again, we're using blue, blue Loctite. I'm gonna Loctite these bolts on here. Whoa, that's a healthy dollop. You don't want this stuff to come off, so. Especially a shock. Anything like that. So we'll put this in here. And we're using these bolt these Allen heads are a seven thirty second Allen head. Snug goes up, and we'll repeat that for each one. Now remember this, you've got your spacer in there, your chrome uh, uh, ob, oblong, oblong uh, spacer on this one that covers up that other hole. So I'll put another healthy dollop on there. On this, whoa, on this one. There we go. In there. And if you don't have a head, a detachable head uh, headrest hardware, then you'll just skip this and just put your uh, 
easy bracket hardware on there, and then your bag will go on that way. All right, so tighten this baby up. There we go. You always want to check to your spacing on the back of the fender. You may, if you have bolts, you want to make sure they're not going to contact the tire. Uh, mine are just flush with the edge of the bracket, so that's good. So we'll do the opposite. We'll do the same thing on the opposite side, uh, and then that'll be that'll be buttoned up there. And it looks pretty good. I mean, uh, when you have the bags off, I mean, it doesn't. You just you just see the little brackets there, but that's. That's not bad, it looks pretty good. Nice polished, polished uh, brackets there. We got some projects coming up. I uh, have the other video where I, where I put a new toolbox on my car hauler. Uh, I'm gonna be working on the Honda. I got some fog lights I'm gonna be installing on that car. Uh, if the weather continues to be warm, we're going to be getting out the, the Mustangs. Uh, my girlfriend's EcoBoost, 2018 EcoBoost, and we're going to be getting out the 89 convertible. So we'll videotape that and get them ready for spring. So those will be some videos coming up for the channel. Um, like I, I'm going to mount the bags on there, on the brackets. And I'll, I'll do that, that's gonna be a separate video. But uh, for right now, I just got that done and we can put our headrest on here. So you line up your, uh, line up your brackets here. Push them on. Okay. Tap them in, tap, tap, tap a -roo. And your brackets go down here in the back. And you push down the levers. Just like that. She locks in. That's that's super nice, if you ask me. That's gonna be. That's gonna be nice. Nice, comfortable, got the bigger pad here for the backrest. Got the rack. And it just looks, it looks nice on the bike. Looks pretty good. All right, well that'll conclude this video for today. Uh, as always, uh, if you like what you see, like and subscribe. Help support the channel. And as always, have a good one.